COLD AND FLU VIRUS IS CONTINUING TO SPREAD AROUND. A FLU SHOT CAN FIGHT OFF INFLUENZA, BUT IT DOESN'T REALLY PROTECT YOU FROM THE DRAST the dastardly cold that's out there right now. Okay, so what's the difference between the two? Mary Nichols with more tonight. Let's check your health report. The differences between cold and flu is influenza will start very suddenly. Cold, flu, at the end of the day, no one really wants to be sick, but germs spread quickly. And these days, it seems everyone's under the weather. Doctors say influenza hit hard this year. Usually, I have maybe one or two patients a year that are hospitalized, but I've actually had older patients that have been hospitalized with the flu about four or five in the last month. Dr. Mark Lewis says oftentimes patients will think they have the flu when really they have a bad cold. I think the difference is that you can sort of tell if it's flu or not is a cold, you get that scratchy feeling in the back of your throat, uh, you get a little bit of hoarseness, it comes on kind of gradually and over a few days. You notice that you get nasal congestion, cough, sneezing, runny nose. Influenza, on the other hand, is an upper respiratory illness that will hit suddenly. And once you get it, the flu will knock you down for several days. So people with colds, yeah, they can go out, go to the store, go to work, take care of things. People with flu, they want to go to bed. And they just sort of shake and go to bed and try to, uh, you know, get better. This is why it's important that you get the flu shot every year. The vaccine, however, will not protect you from the cold or other viruses. So you need to protect yourself by washing your hands, exercising, and eating healthy foods. In Salt Lake City, I'm Mary Nichols for 2 News. Either way, it's been a rough year for a lot of people. Studies show you can spread influenza up to 24 hours before you even know you have the symptoms. And viruses can live for hours on surfaces like your desk and your countertop. Yeah, for more information, go to our website, KUTV.com. You can click on the Check Your Health link. We'll have the information there for you.